Ian, thanks for coming. I'm so used to seeing you talk about geopolitical crises, what's going on in the world, very quick answers to super complicated, hairy problems. By speaking directly into your phone, you are now taking that to the next level. Can you talk to us about what you're doing? It is the world in 60 seconds. And uh, look, we know that people want to understand the world. They're a little overwhelmed by all the headlines, but they also don't really always want to sit down for half an hour, right? Can we do a preview of it here? Can I grill you on the world in 60 seconds can, right now? Absolutely. What's the one country we're not worried enough about? We are not worried enough about China with all of the focus on Russia. We're heading to a world where the largest economy is going to be China. That's great in terms of getting people out of poverty. It's great in terms of educating people, but it also means that governance is gonna be run by a middle income country with weaker institutions. That means global risk goes way up. It's by far the biggest issue and almost no one talks about it with the headlines we have today. Which is better, a Roth or traditional retirement account? Uh, which is better, my son Jonathan or my daughter Catherine? They are both terrific. It just depends on where you think your your tax rate is going to be later. Because with a traditional, you put in pre-tax dollars, you pay taxes later. With a Roth, you put in after-tax dollars, you don't pay taxes later. They're both great because of the tax deferral. Will ride-sharing apps and bike-sharing programs converge into one? I really hope they don't because I want more different companies offering more different things, but of course they will, because that's the way tech works. Is the strong job market to blame for people ghosting on employers? No, it's one thing to know that there are great opportunities out there. It's another to just completely disappear on the people who hired you. The hope is they wouldn't do that to you, and you shouldn't do that to them either. Is pressure from business going to make Trump fold on tariffs? He's not going to fold entirely. I think he may fold on auto tariffs. Within the administration, all of his senior advisors think it's a terrible idea to slap these automobile tariffs on. Bad for the economy, bad for U.S. automakers. I think the uh, European Central Commission president coming to Washington will offer him something on auto tariffs to make it easier for Trump to say he made a great deal and he won't do auto tariffs. He did. The world in 60 seconds. Thanks for being here. <laughs>